what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? I had a number of people send me a video of Quavo from the Migos walking inside of a barber shop and the barber making the guy who was sitting in the seat get up so that Quavo could sit down and get his hair cut. Now, I saw the video and from what I saw, it could have went two ways. The first way that I saw it was the way that everybody else was looking at it, like, oh man, he made that dude get up so Quavo could sit down. Man, he got all that money, he can get somebody to come to his house. He live in a mansion, you know, he, he ain't got to do that there. And talking about how the barber was a groupie and all that stuff. Now, if it went down like that, that's totally foul because one thing that could have happened to avoid that is the barber could have not been greedy and allowed somebody to sit in the seat in the first place knowing that Quavo was on his way. Or you start on that person, if you feel like you got a little time to get in deep on the person, you know you ain't gonna have your, your, your customer waiting too long, but you don't even start until after your customer appointment began. So let's say Quavo was supposed to show up at three o'clock. You don't start at 2.50 or 2.55. You don't even start at three o'clock. You start at about 3.05, 3.10 or whatever. And then you go ahead and start with that barber and then now he got away because he wasn't there on time. Or you, you get into the cut and you say, Quavo, I got you, baby. You know, let me just finish this cut. I got you, you know, boom, boom. And that's understandable. I've been in those type of situations before. I would never want to show up at a barbershop, especially with no appointment, and expect somebody who is not famous to get up out of their seat for me to sit down. I'm not built that way. That ain't cool at all. The, the other side of that coin is that it could have been a situation where dude had just sat down and he knew that it was Quavo's appointment time and he was thinking, well, maybe he ain't going to show up and maybe it was 3.05 or 3.10 or 3.15. And as soon as dude sat down, Quavo walked through the door and it seemed like dude took it on the chin. He seemed like he ain't had too much of a problem getting up. And it seemed like everybody was cool with it. So it didn't really look like I didn't see any attention. So I feel like this might be one of those situations where everybody's overreacting. Uh, I don't know. But, you know, I'm going to take the high road on this. I feel like this is a situation where the dude probably sat down and thought he was going to jump, skip the line. And Quavo walked in. Oh, get up, get up. You got to go, get up. You know, so that's the way I saw it, fam. But what say you? I'm going to leave a, a link to the video in the description. Check it out and tell me what kind of conclusion you draw from this. All right. Till next time, fam. No more talk. What the talking about?